energy. Energy is the capacity to do work. To understand energy, let us take a few cases. A toy car is placed on the floor without winding the key attached to it. A few seconds later, the same car is placed on the floor after winding the key attached to it. The toy is at rest before winding the key, but the same toy gets energy to move when the key attached to it is wound up. The capacity to do work changes from person to person. For example, a child may not be able to lift a heavy object, but an elder can. Similarly, the capacity of doing work by an object on another object depends on the position and state of the object, which is doing work. A person while doing work spends some energy. In science, work is done only when there is a change in position of the object. The object is able to change its position due to the energy transferred to it by the force doing the work. Thus, whenever work is done on an object, energy increases or decreases. For example, if we push a wooden block kept on a table, it moves due to the work done on it. As a result, it gains kinetic energy. Take a spring and keep it on the table. Now, compress it with your palm and release it after a few seconds. You will notice that when the spring is compressed, there is a change in its size. When released, it gains some energy and may even jump off the table. The work done by a palm on the spring increases its energy and makes it jump away from the table. Thus, we can conclude that the object doing the work loses some energy while the object on which work has been done gains some energy. If negative work is done on an object, its energy decreases. On the other hand, positive work means gain in energy. For example, when a ball moves on the ground, the force of friction does negative work on the ball. This negative work decreases its kinetic energy and the ball comes to rest after some time. We need energy in different forms like muscular energy, thermal energy, light energy, electrical energy, chemical energy, sound energy, etc. to do our day-to-day -day activities. The sun is a natural and primary source of energy. Many other secondary energy sources like wind, etc. are derived from the sun. We can also get energy from the interior of the earth and from the tides of the sea. Fossil fuel like coal, petroleum and natural gas are examples of non-renewable sources of energy. Solar energy, wind energy, hydro energy, biomass energy and geothermal energy are examples of renewable forms of energy.